Alright, another beer. Here we go. This one's Genesee Bach. Yes, Genesee Bach beer it says special edition on the bottom. Um, this one comes from New York. Um, Genesee Brewing slash Dundee. I believe Dundee, the uh, you know brewing company, is either a sister company or, or owns uh, Genesee or Genesee owns them. They're tied in somehow. I did a couple of reviews on some Dundee uh, beer. This one's 5.2% ABV. Very, very cool bottle. So the first thing that attracted me is it's a different type of bottle, which is pretty cool. And of course, there's some embossing on there. The G with the, uh, I'm assuming, hops inside. But <clears throat> anyway, really interesting. Should be a straight up Bach. So let's try it. Get top off. Alright. Ooh. It's got a weird smell. It kind of smells like a lager. But with something funky at the end of it. Something like... I don't like the smell of this. Oh, it's like something went bad. Ugh, not, not a good smell. It's not a good start. Hmm. All right. There you go. Beautiful color. Nice, like, rich copper color. I like that. A deep copper color. Reddish brown. Nice head on there. It's perfect. I like like a one finger head. Not too much, not too little. Ooh, all right. As outside the bottle, it smells different. It smells the same, like lager esque, but uh, with nothing funky going on. I don't know why. Ugh, maybe. <laughs> Maybe it's the bottle. It smells gross out of the bottle. It smells fine in the mug. Okay, so bottoms up. We got a Bach. Ooh. Ooh. I like this one a lot. Um, I happen to like box. I've had uh, quite a few. It's probably the most of a specific style of beer that I've had. I like double box. I like chocolate box. Um, this one has a very straightforward flavor. You taste a lot of malt. Predominantly like a malt flavor. You taste a little bit of hops in there and you get a, you get a bitterness at the end and the finish that's definitely hops related. Um, but it's a very like uh, chewy, bready flavor that makes uh, any sense to you. It's very bready. It's good. It offers a lot of flavor. I've never seen this in a bottle before. I've seen it in the can. I like the bottle. It's very unique. It's kind of a novelty to it. It definitely adds to me liking it. I put it that way. Um, but there's a lot of flavor here. There's something there though. I'm not. I'm not exactly sure what it is that I'm not picking up on. I mean, there's something like I taste, but it's hard to explain. It's almost like a little bit of a tanginess to it. A little bit of like a a tartness, I guess you get from citrus. But there's no citrus flavor at all. It's really good though. This is definitely like a all day drink type of thing you know if you're if you're one to have a bunch of beers in a row if you're at some kind of a barbecue or party or something and you, you know you're probably going to have a few beers this is definitely something you can get down with for a while i don't think it's uh, sickening at all it doesn't seem like it's overfilling it offers a lot of flavor but mostly just bready bready malty and just that little bit of hops bitterness and a sour note at the end. That's pretty much it. I 
I like it. I'd recommend it. It's uh, not a particular style. I mean, I like the box for the most part. No, I mean style. It's not a particular brand that I would go out and seek. It's not like I'm going to a shop or something getting beer. I'm like, oh, I gotta get Genesee Bach. You know, it's the best. Not at all. But uh, it's not bad at all. I would, I would drink it again. I just wouldn't purposely get it again. You know, like a lot of different hobbies, kind of like, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, pipe smoking. My interest in in whiskey, scotch, and bourbon. Uh, my interest in cigars. It's all the same with beer in that, like, I enjoy it. But what makes it so interesting for me and so enjoyable for me is the variety. I like trying new cigars. I like trying new, you know, whiskey. I like trying new beer. And uh, that's the journey, is trying all different things. Now, because I've tried a bunch of different beers thus far, a bunch of different styles, different brands from all around the world, I have a better understanding of what I like. And if I have the choice, like if I go to a bar or something, or if I'm at a party, and there's a choice, I know what I'm going to like the most, as opposed to just randomly picking something. So that's what I like about this whole experience. But... Um, it's not often where like I have like one beer that I like and I'll just, I'll just get that beer. I mean, I like trying new things and that's the whole point of these reviews is sharing you, you know, sharing with you a common man perspective, not a beer connoisseur, you know, just an average person that's, that's enjoying the hobby as a newbie, as, um, someone who's new to it and still learning. It's a nice experience and I, I want to share it with you. This is my journey into trying new things and, um, I found there's a lot of different types of beers that I really like the flavor of. And this, this offers a lot of flavor. I, like I said, I, I do like box, so it's not going to be bad. I've never had a bad one yet. It's, it's a style of beer that I do like. So this one is good. Um, I don't like the sour note. I'm not sure where that's coming from. And besides that, it just smells funny in the bottle. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Take care.